Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here, and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, today we have the new, I believe this is an end of an era, Jermaine Defoe, right? Premium Squad Building Challenge. I think they call these end of an era cards, right? I'm pretty sure, like I used to do these for like Rooney and stuff back in the day, but uh, guys, uh, we have a card who is five foot seven, high low work rates, right footed, four star skills with a four star weak foot. Uh, in game player traits, we have the finesse shot traits and the outside foot shot traits. So you guys already know that I love both of those traits when it comes to the shooting in the game. In game attributes. Oh, he actually looks so dribbling, 86. Basic gives him those boosts in those areas. Shot power boost. Long shots is at an 88. What are people giving this card? Let's see. A Hawk. Yeah, I'm thinking the Hawk 2 and then the dribbling you just work with, right? Because the agility and bounce is really high for someone who's 5'7". With what body type? Lean body type. Yeah. Yeah, because with the Hawk, you can utilize the shooting traits more. You know what I mean? You're going to give him 97 acceleration, 97 sprint speed. Shooting is going to be essentially perfect with those shooting traits. Passing is going to be on the lower side for long passing, but it is a striker, so no big deal there. 85 stamina is a perfectly fine cutoff for a striker, unless you're being super aggressive with them constantly, but it should be okay. Uh, passing on the card, again, long passing is on the shorter side. The dribbling we will be experimenting with. I mean, technically, you could just leave this card on a basic, but... I don't know, man. If I want to take some like long shots and stuff, I want to be able to utilize those traits. I want to see what the dribbling is going to be like on the Hawk because of that lean body type and really high agility and balance. Um, so we'll experiment with that. 98 composure is very nice too. Uh, and then for physical, you actually boost his physical too. He has really good pace with really high aggression as well. At a 99 for jumping, 99 for heading accuracy while being a shorter player. <laughs> huh. Interesting. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, let me see if I have the 3-5-2 tactic from the pro player here. Uh, I do not. I'm going to have to go do that. 4-4-2. Four, four, I don't want to mess with these too much. So 3-5-2. Let me just go do that real quick. Okay, okay. So we're good here. Instructions, nothing. You're on stay forward, and then you guys come back. Okay, cool beans. Jermaine Defoe on the left side. Yeah, we could do that, actually. Curtis Jones, this is all, this is all over the place. Fredericks, we'll switch there. Nganga, John Stones, Magalore. Yeah. Okay, yeah, we'll try out the foe up top. Let's see how good he is, man. Bam, 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 boom. Okay, uh, let's see how good this card is, man. Hopefully he's, he's sick, because that, that body type and how small he is, I think will compensate well. Well, the high-low work rate, he's already starting off. Let me do this. I have to dribble a little bit slowly here. Open up the space. Oh, I mistimed that one. No, dude. Mistimed that dribble a little bit. Yeah, I'm not minding it too much. Ooh, Defoe. Hello, Defoe. Okay. Couple of small little dribbles, a nice little goal to the top right corner. I like that. I like that. No, it didn't register my right skill move. Come on, EA. Oh, no. Oh, a defensive play by Defoe. The aggression. Pass, there we go. Gonna have to work with the space here. Oh, Joe Cole. Sheesh, man. So I do notice the actual dribbling stat being low, but it's not a nuisance, which is good. Because I'm obviously doing dumb dribbles for the sake of the review, but I could definitely work with that. Let's just try this. Oh, why not? He has the physical for it, right? I know he's offside, but I just want to see how he would kind of react there. And the white time shot on his weak foot. Kind of coming off of dribbles a certain way. That's not great. Not like in a bad way. It's just uh, you can't really take shots when you're dribbling like that. 
Oh, I honestly thought he was going to get that. A little bit of aggression on the card, you know? Oi. Come on, man. I'm just trying to work my finesse shot angles. Oh, wow. I hit that in the white and he still hits that like that. Eesh. Yeah, so I'm just trying out a couple of shot cancels to see how quick and responsive he is. Oh, yeah, the height part for the physical. For those types of challenges, obviously, the big guys are going to have that reach on him, right? Oh, that was a green, too. I thought that was going in. Oh, I thought I missed. Good pass by default, though. We'll take that. Oh, yeah, the shot cancels. Got to force those animations out of the defenders, eh, boys? Oh, man. A lot of push touches there. I'm gonna get blocked there, should not have shot that. Gotta go for the shot cancels, boys. Oi, Apa. Is it a pen? Oh, it's a pen. Okay, 97 penalties. Got him. Okay, so listen. Listen to what I'm going to say. You do notice that dribbling part of the card. I know he has a lean body type. I know his dribbling is high, but you do notice it. So, you could totally give him an engine chemistry style if you want to boost that part of the card. It is something that you can do. That aggression the card has is actually kind of nice. Go upwards here. Your post? Oh, yeah. Finesse? Yeah, see, I, I'd always tell you guys, finesse inside the 18 is just not a consistent strike. Like, yeah, you know, maybe if I fin like time it, you know, in FIFA, though, it's just not a consistent one. I go for it for the sake of it, but I just know it's not going to work consistently, you know? We'll take that. Well done. Use those work rates, my G. He was actually able to win it, wow. Yeah, you see like the, the quick little dribbles that he does now, like I prefer to just have my general experience to be better. So you guys know that for most of the cards in this game, I gotta give him the engine because I gotta make it responsive. You know, if I wanna make these extra passes, the extra touches, his shooting is still in a decent area for me to sh score these opportunities because he's a shorter player, you know? Yeah, I just got to get the, the power rights for uh, some of the touches that he comes off of, the skill moves and stuff. First time? It was a good strike, to be fair. It was actually a really good strike. Not bad. I, I like his uh, sharper touches on the engine, guys. Like, you can definitely notice the difference of animation choice that he makes now with it. We'll take that chip. Nice. Ooh. Did we get this back? No, no chance. Always got to work those small left sticks, man. Every time. 
With the engine, it just helps a little bit more though, you know? Okay guys, so final verdict on the new Defoe SPC. So I think he's a W of an SPC, especially at the price range of 66K while building up fodder to get this card for a card that is out for 14 days. You genuinely cannot go wrong with the price that he is for what he offers in game. Now, in regards to the chemistry styles for this card, it's really gonna depend on what you want the most. Um, I do feel like there's gonna be moments in game where you wanna have sharp dribbles, right? And if you give him that engine chemistry style, with the five foot seven height and the lean body type, you notice more of a sharpness to it, right? When you give him the Hawk chemistry style, obviously your shooting is gonna be way more consistent, but then that 86 dribbling you'll notice from time to time. But to be honest with you guys, it's not terrible to work with. I only do it uh, for the sake of the review, but I will say that when you are breaking down attacking plays inside the 18 yard box, it is always very nice to be able to do shot cancels really quickly, small little left stick dribbles, do boom, boom, like get, to get past the defenders to get that one angle that you need. Because his shooting on an engine camera style is already in a pretty decent area, with, and this is the key part, right? With both of the shooting traits, it's really not that bad to work with for the price range that it's at, right? On the Hawk chemistry style, you would just notice the 86 dribbling from time to time. But I will say that his body type and his height, as well as the 97 agility, 97 bounce is compensating really, really well for it. One thing I wanna mention about this SBC is that I like it a lot for many reasons. So if we take a look at the silver card, uh, he obviously had three star skills, four star weak foot. This Defoe card not only has the skill moves, but EA actually understands, hey, we gotta give him some traits too to make him as good as possible, right? So if we take a look and see this card on the new version, look at all the extra traits that he gets. Right? Gets the flare trait, gets the finesse shot trait, outside foot shot trait. So they're actually more than capable of actually adding this stuff into the game to make their cards as good as possible, right? Now, maybe they watch the videos, maybe they don't, right? What I'm gonna say is that EA, it would have been nice, you know, especially because you only need English links for this card. It would have been nice that if I gave him the Hawk, you already had good dribbling. I mentioned this in the Weg Horse review. I mentioned this in the Ben Yedda review. In your game, your dribbling needs to be in the high 90s, mid 90s for cards to feel as usable as possible, especially with an overpowered defensive AI. It just would have been nice to have, okay? But you cannot go wrong for the price of the SBC at 66K with either chemistry style. He performs really well in the meta of the game and they gave him awesome improvement. So good SBC, in my opinion. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoy this video today. I'll catch you guys for the next one. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.